Hey guys, um, well today I'm going to be showing you something different. First we created our first uh, Visual Studio application. Now what we're going to work on is finding a way to host that application. Because what's the point of learning how to make something if you can't host it? By host I refer to displaying on the web where everyone can see it. You know that. Now normally we've got our normal web host like start namepad.org or something like that start http namepad.org uh, enable why not no I don't want to restart we got this or like oh, oh, oh webhost.com something like that but now, on the other hand, if you think of my server that hosts my form, it is hosted on my computer directly. And uh, to get there, just sph. dot uh, -E -E -E, http. dot com. Um, that would be how you get to my form. Now that is hosted directly on my machine using a remote machine. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to set up ISS. So first thing you're going to do is control panel, programs, turn Windows features on or off. Now I've got a quad core machine with three gigs of RAM and that still took a minute to load. If you have something pretty slow, um, you're in for it. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to import Internet Information Services. You're going to turn this on. Um, it automatically turns on what you need it, just by clicking this. There's nothing else you need to click. Um, there are whole books written on those things, so don't worry about it. Just click that. Um, click OK. Now, this is going to tell you it's going to take a few minutes to start up. And it's probably going to want you to restart. I'm not sure. If it does want you to restart, um, I'm going to skip that process for right now because I already think I've got an uh, ISS set up. <laughs> okay, next thing you're going to need, well, yeah, you're going to need your have your project ready. Um, where is it? Documents 2010. Projects. Let's see if I've got anything ready. I don't, so I'll make something real fast here in a second. Let me pause this while it does its uh, work. Okay, as you can see, it finished up here. <coughs> so we're uh, done just when the window closes. It doesn't want you to restart. So let's exit out of this. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to type in add oh, administrative tools. If you're on a Windows XP, uh, just go to Control Panel, <coughs> and it's in there somewhere. Uh, probably under System and Security or something like that. Wait, actually, in uh, XP, it's got it right there. Uh, so, Internet Information Service, ISS for short. That's what I'm going to be calling it. This is ISS 7. <coughs> so, um... Okay, it loads up. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to go to Sites. It's got a default website set up for us. As you can see, right there. Well, we're going to go to uh, Basic Settings. And we're, no, not Basic Settings, I forget. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Yeah. I'm going to make a new folder on the desktop. Host core. Sites. Add website. Site name. Main. Physical path, which is like where your files will be. To be on the desktop, so it will be on host core. Connect as. Okay. Test settings. Okay. 
it works. HTTP unassigned port 81. I don't have anything running on that. Start website immediately. So you got main right here. So what we're going to do is going to go to uh, your project, Visual Studio Project folder. Uh, it's in Documents, Visual Studio, Projects. Um, I forgot what I named it. Web Application 1. Probably something different. Okay, now all of this. Copy. And it goes into your host core. Paste. Okay, let's refresh this. Okay, there all that is. Now what we're going to do is oh we'll just do this. You can do it in your web browser, I just doing some command prompt work. HTTP localhost eighty one. We'll see if that does us any good. Okay. So this is running, but I accidentally made this wrong. What I forgot to do is forgot to come here and click nope, forgot to convert to application. I wonder if I can select nope, I can't. So you gotta convert all of these to application. Uh just do the main folder because it'll do all the subfolders for you then. You gotta do that, sorry. Let's make sure that turned out right. Okay. Well this is hosting, I don't know why it's giving an error. Uh because related configuration so the actual error is in my code. See so make sure I don't need to do this for any of these. I'm just going to go through and check. Never. I always want to be safe. Okay. So it's giving us a server error. Config file web.config. Okay. It just can't read my config file. Because I don't think I have one. Which, really, not a big deal. Um, this project, the project that we made earlier in the first tutorial, you upload it to your ISS and it will work. To show you that the host is working, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all of this and the host will run ASPX and HTML because ASPX is part made up of HTML. New text document, uh, index.html. Yes. We'll just do like this is your application or app that works. Index dot HTML. Oh, I know why. Clear recent history. Clear now. Uh, don't know why it's not working. Um, the other one, trust me, it works. The default one is hosted in your C disk, int pub, web root, and you can see it by accessing port 80. See, there it is. Whoopee. Uh, it's actually in your local C disk, int pub, web root. Hello. No, because it's open by the web browser. Yes. Continue. Okay, what we're going to do now is go to, uh, no, that's, haven't uploaded the last video. Okay, we're going to go to, sorry, this is, uh, I didn't expect this. Learn something new every day. Uh, and that's why, because I deleted it there. Ha ha. Because I deleted it in that uh, project folder. I'm losing track of my folders. Now we're going to paste your project into the www web root. Come here. 
See, it's still an error, so it's an error with the project, not your host. Don't worry. Um, in the next tutorial, I'll show you the finished product. Don't worry, you won't get the error in all my years of doing this, which is about two. I've never gotten the error. So uh, don't worry, stick around for the next tutorial. Uh, I've got another ISS tutorial out there, but it's got no sound to it. 